loves, it's your girl Chi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day to lose weight, healthy food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the snacks that I eat. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm in my pantry because I'm starting off with breakfast. For breakfast, I like to do oatmeal because it's the only thing that fills me up. I'm using Quaker Oats oatmeal and I'm just going to make some oatmeal. I'm going to add strawberries, blueberries, bananas, chia seeds, cinnamon, raw unfiltered honey, this is a healthier honey, and lastly some almond milk. So I like to add a little bit of almond milk to my oatmeal. I don't like to flood my oatmeal with almond milk. So once the almond milk is added, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my fruits, guys. This breakfast is so easy and it's really quick and I love it because it's really tasty for one and two it doesn't take a long time and three it's full of metabolism boosting foods which will help you when you lose weight it'll help you keep your weight off by boosting your metabolism I'm adding some chia seeds on top because they're very good to control your cholesterol A dash of cinnamon, which we all know is a metabolism boosting food. And lastly, we're going to drizzle some honey on top, which is also a metabolism boosting food. And this is our breakfast. It's sweet, it's yummy, it's tasty, it's full of nutrients. It's going to keep us full throughout the day and delicious. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to make some green tea. I just use any brand of green tea, it doesn't really matter. This one is the Bigelow Premium Green Tea. It's 100% organic green tea, any green tea will do. Absolutely love green tea. There are so many health benefits. It's very good to lower um, your cholesterol, burn fat, it gives you glowing skin, and literally so much more. The benefits of green tea are just amazing. So this is my breakfast guys, oatmeal with fruit and green tea. If you're looking for a healthy snack, I definitely recommend these ranch flavored um, rice crisps. They're basically like little rice cakes, but they're ranch flavored. Oh, and I also have the cheddar flavor. Let me get those. So these are the ranch flavor and these are the cheddar flavor. And guys, they are so delicious. They taste just like chips in my opinion because I love, love chips. So I had to find a different alternative to chips that I would still enjoy. What I really like about these rice cakes are the serving size and the calories. You know I don't really count calories, but when it comes to snacks, I never try and go over 200 calories with my snacks. When it comes to snacks, I try and be cautious because you never realize how many calories are in a small snack. Like a little, you know, chewy bar is almost 300 calories and you wouldn't even think that it was that high in calories or a bag of chips being 300 calories. So I always try and, um, count my calories when it comes to snacking and make sure that you are drinking a ton of water. Water not only you know helps to keep you full, but it keeps your body hydrated, it keeps you glowing, it keeps your skin clear, so many benefits of water. Um, I want to tell you guys I drink a gallon of water a day, but I don't. My personal goal is to drink at least three of these bottles a day and I usually do that. So yeah, I'm going to eat this snack before lunch. All right, y'all, so now it is lunchtime and I'm going to be making shrimp fried quinoa. I take on shrimp fried rice. Um, I try not to do too much carbs and I really like rice, so I just had to find a rice alternative. What can I say? I'm African. So you're gonna need some quinoa, some shrimp, mixed veggies, get them like this because it's easier, onions, and a whole bunch of seasonings that I'll get into detail later and most importantly some soy sauce. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my quinoa because that takes about 10-15 minutes to um, boil. So quinoa is a much better alternative than white rice because it provides you with more protein and also fills you up faster allowing for a smaller portion size. So if you're looking for a, a rice alternative, try quinoa. So I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning. I like my shrimp spicy and cayenne pepper is also a metabolism boosting agent. So I like to cook with cayenne pepper with basically everything. And I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper on the shrimp. Um, garlic salt, sparingly. Onion powder. 
and a dash of sea salt. I'm just gonna stir it all up. In my pan, I've added a few drops of extra virgin olive oil to make sure that my shrimp will not stick. And I'm going to add some chopped up onions and let them saute. And yes, I love onions, so I go crazy. Okay, onions are essential for any food to taste good, in my opinion, onions and garlic. So boom, that leads me to my next ingredient, which is garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add some garlic, and like I said, I goes crazy, sis. Lots of garlic. Go ahead and add your shrimp. So we all know shrimp takes no time. Just make sure you do not overcook your shrimp because if you overcook your shrimp, it'll be chewy and it will not taste good. So just keep your eye on that shrimp. Keep flipping it back and forth and make sure you cook it to perfection, but don't overcook. And baby, I wish you could smell it. It smells so delicious, like them aromasis. But um, watch your quinoa as well because you can overcook quinoa and quinoa can be kind of challenging to cook. You kind of have to keep your eye on it to get the right consistency because sometimes you can undercook it or you can overcook it where it'll be super mushy or super hard. So I'm making my veggies in the microwave because I don't like to have a million pots and pans to clean later on, sis, okay? I'm lazy, okay? And I need quick. <laughs> and the microwave gets the job done, okay? So I'm adding those veggies into my shrimp as well as my quinoa. And I'm just gonna stir everything together. All right, so once everything is stirred, we're gonna add our soy sauce. And I just use a little bit of this. Be very sparingly with soy sauce because it is kind of high in salt, so I just use a little bit. I put my heat on low and I just stir it just to make sure that the sauce is on everything. Get into that nice little close up. Look at them colors, baby. Mm, 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 mm. So to finish off our healthy masterpiece, I'm gonna add some parsley. 10 points if you know where that's from. <laughs> Comment down below if you know where that's from. But yeah, we're just gonna add parsley to make it look pretty, of course. We want a picture perfect meal. And I love, love, love sriracha, so I'm gonna put a little bit of sriracha on top. And voila, magnifique, lunch is served. All right guys, so before dinner I like to have a snack. And one thing about me is I have the craziest sweet tooth. I love, love, love candy. It's so hard for me to not eat things like gummy bears, Skittles, so I really have to force myself to eat grapes or like any kind of fruit that's kind of like this that I can kind of like pick at. And yes, I'm eating green and red grapes and drinking a ton of water. So I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, so it's time for dinner. I like to go light on dinner, so I'm just gonna make a salad that I randomly came up with by throwing a bunch of things together, and it's delicious. So we're gonna need chicken breast, some romaine lettuce, grape tomatoes, sliced olives, crumbled feta cheese, reduced fat, some onions, I had purple ones which would look better, but yeah, I forgot about them, and some dressing. So we're gonna start off by seasoning our chicken breast. These are thinly sliced chicken breasts. I like them better than the thick ones, so yeah. I'm just gonna season with garlic salt, onion powder, my usual, and some black pepper. So I'm gonna be cooking my chicken breast in an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, I 100% recommend getting one. It has changed my cooking game. I literally cook everything in this air fryer and it just makes your food so crispy. It cooks food faster than like baking or frying and it's healthier. So get an air fryer, sis. I'm obsessed. So while our chicken is cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up all my toppings. I'm just slicing these grape tomatoes in half. So my chicken is ready, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slice my chicken. Mm -hmm. 
and look how juicy my chicken looks. The air fryer literally cooked it in less than 15 minutes. Time to build our salad. I don't think I really need to explain this. Just, you know, put your salad down and get your toppings and put them all together. So I decided to add some avocado to the side. It's full of good fat, it'll keep you full, and it's also really good for your hair and your skin. And now for the finishing touches, just gonna sprinkle this crumbled cheese on top and put a little bit of dressing. I'm very light on the dressing. And voila, our dinner is served. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Bye guys.